Evening, everyone. Welcome back to Valhalla. Hello. Where, where it is cold, 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 because in-game it is December and not mid-June. It's the longest day of the year today, folks. Oh, shit. No. It, it is still br bright out now that you mention it. <laughs> and, and we're starting late. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Enjoy it while it lasts, kids. So it's only downhill from here. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I think you were doing most of Jill last week, so I will uh, take a turn. Sounds good. And Jill this time. Cold, 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 cold. Oh, I have to do... Uh... Oh, we haven't switched up the music in a while. We should do that. Um, I know we started late. Uh, were you intending to go a bit later tonight? Fine with that. Yeah. Uh, I think we want to get back into this side of it. Oh, we got that one. Was it March of the Titans? I kind of wanted to get in here. Cometry and Dream. That's just a good title. That's a good one. Uh, Base of the Titans. That's a one I remember well. Underground Club. Showtime. Let's put that in there. Rebase of the Titans and Glitch City, which I think is just uh, like the main track or one of the main mm. tracks. Title screen track. That's what I was thinking of. Okay. I do, I do like I do like that as a uh, opener. That's good. It sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Respectful. Speaks in uh, six second increments. Apparently, he got into some legal trouble, and that's why he's like that. And that's why we can't have nice things anymore. <laughs> oh. Really? He could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. I have a cousin that lives like a hobo, actually. Oh. Does that count as minimalism? I don't think so, because you kind of just have everything with you in a shopping cart. Yeah, I, I, I feel like minimalism has to involve a certain level of conscious choice, not being unhoused. Yeah. Really? It's a bit complicated, though. Problem is, his family has tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let him accept their help. He'd rather live a, live on the streets for some reason. Okay, so it is just someone living out of their car or on the streets. You can't tell with some people, sadly. Why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investments in debt. Bank evicted him from his house. Ah. Oh. It's a serious problem because he has epileptic attacks, refuses to take his medication. Um, this is now a sad story, and I feel bad for uh, joking about it. Yes, this took a turn. I just don't get what's up with him. Um. Honey, some service here. I'm here, don't scream. Oh, were you two hanging out at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Uh, I think if it's going to be two people, it'll be the the two uh, members talking mostly, so we can take one each. Sounds good. Uh, I'll stick with Alma, you be Dorothy? Yeah, I'll do right. that. And I'll just take Jill, because she's going to take a seat back, I think. Yep, sounds good to me. Just talking. Is that what is that what they call it these days? What do you want? Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from the vending machine? But I like you. <laughs> oh my god, she's turned into a 90s anime character. <laughs> uh you you see what they spend their budget on for animation. Absolutely. I mean, it's worth it. <laughs> Do you dislike my presence that much? 
Lipsis. Oh no, it's Seiko. Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say. All right. Uh, by flavor, we want a sweet drink. And just anything we can say, no alcohol. I, probably the Blue Fairy. Yep. Optional. Comma train. Sounds good. Or all aged, mixed, Blue Fairy. Here, like you asked. See, you don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. Lawrence? A friend of mine, he's a vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good sentence. Uh, that's, that's, that, that, that's oh. a good one. Oh, but how impolite of me. And back to Alma. Hmm? I'm lovely, and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Yep. Why? Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me. Mostly about your, uh... Pluckiness. And here I was thinking it, it was because I'm a sex worker. So much for trying to be subtle. Game doesn't know the meaning of the word. Nope. Hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself. Thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some, some account and says that's hacking, right? I'm in. No, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? No... I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know until you try, right? Last time I said that I had to jam a plastic... Last time I said that I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. You need to take... It was a success. You need to take that sentence again. <laughs> Ahem. Okay, then, let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's, let's, let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. All right. First, I do some research on the target, OS, servers, how the information is stored, and all of that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the network. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger an alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. I, I, I see. Then, when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. H how do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info someone else, someone already gave me. But the usual way is using a buffer overflow. But buff, buff. What happens next? What happens next? 
I create a back door in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. I I can't I can't handle it anymore. Um, hack me, hack me like you've never hacked anything before. <laughs> eh? Make me make my buffer overflow. Create a back door in me. Escalate your user privileges. Find flaws in my security. Ellipses. 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 <laughs> so, sorry, I I got carried away. No shit. What happened? Have you ever seen those movies or books where a couple make, where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook, make pottery? <laughs> but they make it sound like they're having sex instead. Suggestive scenes, yes. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? I guess humans don't really get get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you've recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny Lilum are an unexploited market. I see. Oh, it looks like my ride is here. Your ride? Yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Hmm. Is it alright to ask that from him? Hmm. It's okay. I've known him since preschool. It just so happened that he got married to my sister. Hmm. Hey, Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by the third street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay, I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Jill. Take care. The street seems noisy. Oh, a client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Such a small yet comfortable place. I forgot. I forgot this was today. Oh. Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of a suburban desert. This guy doesn't look like Klaus Naomi, but he feels like Klaus Naomi. I don't know what to do with that information. <laughs> a place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can just sit to kill their insides. <laughs> Truly, a real persona non grata. We're not playing persona today. Yeah, it's a different game. That's Latin for mysterious place, by the way. I'm so smart and <laughs> philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell if less of a pompous boob than I thought or more of a pompous boob than I thought. Uh... All right, we got ourselves a, a Persona Non Grata here. What will you have then? 17. I, I, excuse me? Excuse me? I I saw, I said 17, seven plus teen. <laughs> what does that mean? What does it mean to you? <sighs> Just to be sure. 17 is about the drink you want, right? <laughs> Only if you want it to be. <sighs> Whoopsies. As I face bomb. 17, what the hell does that mean? Alright, well, we've gone very cryptic. Uh, what do you think this means? My, my two instincts is that it's either the 17th drink alphabetically or it's something I mean can you can you have 17 ingredients in a drink that's not a big drink I feel like either it's like 10 or 10 or 20 yeah we could get up to 17 with like a piano man I think yeah Ten to, like that's wait is piano man the 17th drink yes how about have... that yeah huh. uh, that's that's Eight, 18. That's 18 greens. I think it's still fine, though. Probably. It, it's an expensive drink, too, so that's... Yep. 
So if, it, if it's if it's incorrect, at least it'll be offset by the price. Yep. All on the rocks. Mixed. Piano Man. How is this a 17? It isn't. You said 17 would only be related to your drink, and I thought it was. And I think it isn't. Well, you subverted my expectations by taking me literally. Sneaky. Hmm. And what brings you here, Mr. I'm I'm a Armandio. Virgilio Vir, Virgilio Virgilio Armandio. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if uh, we got the pin I could have sworn that the piano man was the like a correct tr choice there. I think both of your instincts were correct. Mm -hmm. And I thought and I thought would uh, let us take either of those. But maybe uh, maybe it was just 17 ingredients. Well, we'll find out eventually. See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. <laughs> and he's a weeb. Who's that? Who is this nerd? Right. And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw this place is called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls, the golden hall full of never-ending banquets, the lively Valkyries looking over them. We have some arcade machines on the corner. No, no, no. You're taking me too literally. Mm. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mystical air to a mundane affair. Do you get it? Do you understand? You see, I'm an artiste. <laughs> I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses in food. I wanted to see the bar in all its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today has been quite slow day. Quite slow, actually. Not that I'm very surprised, given that how things have been going on on going in the streets. Humans are a nasty bunch. That much is true. Making a ruckus, coming at each other. But that's to be expected from the only mammal that kills its own. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Oh yeah? Then give me an example, non-zoologist bartender. Like I said, I don't know the exact details. I just know that that isn't right. If I'm very sure is right, once a lion takes over pride, every cub born from another lion is killed or something? Takes over a pride. You can't take over a pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. <laughs> You need to stop making things up, non-zoologist bartender. Uh. But going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? The atomic number of chlorine. No, and Chloe is a name, not a number, you know? How silly of me. This, this this guy is like, what if Andy Warhol was born to rich people in Manhattan instead of being born in Pittsburgh? <laughs> this, the group where halogens are in the periodic table? Stop making up words like halogens, periodic, and table. <laughs> okay, then. I give up. 17 is us. I should hope not. That's not the legal drinking age. Mm -mm. Eh? Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. It's 23. I've seen the, the movie, the number 23. Come on mm. now. What is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. <laughs> You're a special kind of stupid, aren't you, Virgilio? 
I feel like I knew this guy in college. Primal. Willis. Do you want anything else? I like a single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. Okay. Don't we have that? What a coincidence. We have that right here. <laughs> I, I think that is exactly how the Simpsons gag goes, is uh, Yoko Ono <laughs> or whatever uh, celeb reference at, comes in and asks for that. Barney asks for a bill. He reaches under the counter and pulls up both at the same time. Time. Uh, Here you go. Yep. I don't know if we'll ever need this again, but it's worth it for this gag. Oh, yeah. Here. Ha! You didn't... Wait, you did! <laughs> He's so disappointed. Enjoy! I will. I'll drink this, um, perfume. This this is now actually reminding me of another Simpsons gag where it's, uh... Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Hugh Jass. I'm sorry, sir. This is... <laughs> This is a uh, prank gone, prank call gone sideways, and I'd like to back out now. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, you don't, <laughs> you don't really have to. Yeah, that'd be silly. You win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender, have you ever thought about death? How? What if we're already dead? Both of us. What? What tells you I even existed before I entered the door? How can you assure me that this reality is real and we were not, in fact, in heaven or hell all along? Mm. What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in his room? You're getting dangerously meta there. Yeah, uh, don't, don't, you, you, miss, you don't get to get meta on as Mr. has fashioned his hair into a question mark. I could punch you to make you feel reality. I don't care about any of that, actually. This reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. Such a close-minded way of seeing things. You need to... Get away from the factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond your reach. You'll never reach enlightenment if you don't start. Oh, explosion? The habanera has started. It means the twilight of the gods in German. <laughs> <laughs> no... <laughs> the no, of gods in that's German, wrong. <laughs> oh. oh, God, what is the, what? <laughs> well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world order. It's not Ragnarok and it's not Blitzkrieg, which are the two words that came to mind. So we'll have to we'll have to move on. Go, 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 Gosterdamen, I think. There's like a there's like an opera with the name I think. Anyways. Uh, um what? A couple of nearby cars exploded it seems. Oh, that's bad. Oh hell. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful. Oh, that's the sound of gunshots. Hmm. Let me pause the uh music real quick. I see lots of flashes in the distance. Most likely gunshots. Jill, come here a second. What? Oh, they're taking control of the TV. Oh, At about five, about five gigabytes of reports proving that several white night squads have been used to cover, illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown arc, by an unknown Arcness group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Several counterterrorism forces from neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue the crazed units after a plea from the vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration from Zybotsicorp CEO on the subject, but until then, 
Things are ugly in and outside of that bank, it seems. I'd recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. Uh, fun fact for you people at home, the word that he was looking for was not habanero, but in fact, uh, Gotterdammerung. So, Ow. Uh, <laughs> sort of not really close. Yeah, not, not in the same ballpark at all. No, not what? in the right part of Europe. Mm-hmm. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, the bar is quite the security system. It's named Dana. <laughs> and I'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll stay the night. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, I guess it's fine. Good. Uh, let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have a Zanganto on hand, just in case. I, that's... That's too close to the bleach... Uh, weapon. <laughs> Zonkato. But it's not mm. quite right. right. Almost. The metal bat with nails? Uh, yeah, there go. yeah, not quite a samurai sword. There's nothing it can't bash. Helps to be confident. <laughs> mm-hmm. Say, Gil, four. Hope everything's better by tomorrow. Sleep tight, I'll protect you. Uh, we didn't get a flawless service bonus, so... Oh. We did get a mistake for that one. Uh, we didn't serve that many drinks, did we? I'm, no, this was, this was a pretty, uh, this is pretty drink light. I'm, I'm tempted to go back and, uh, fix that some. But maybe I'll just, uh, make a, uh, stagger save and get back to that later. Hmm. Fix it for next week. Can't go on my permanent record. <laughs> Rise and shine. Uh, good morning. It's 11 a.m. though. That's morning for me on the weekends and any other day. How's everything outside? I do work the night shift after all. Mm hmm. Still noisy, but forces have been deployed to take care of most of them, at least. How so? Zaibatsu Corps' president is pleading with anyone to stop the rogue white knights. No. Yeah, we, sit, we watch, we protect. How's that going? Mm. Yeah, right. Neighboring city forces were deployed quickly and have subdued most of the opposition. There have also been reports of white knights just freezing, like they were petrified somehow. Make it sound like some god suddenly decided to put everything in place. Well, I'm just glad no bullets are flying in and out of the whole building. Sure, there's still some bad apples out and it's not really safe yet, but it was worse last night. There also seems to be a civilian force lynching any white knight they spot. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. Anarchy, huh? Mm. So not only are the White Knights a problem, regular folks are on edge, too. I wonder if Say is okay. Should we be worried about Gil? That kid knows how to take care of himself. I'm sure that wherever it is that he's doing, he's safe. Dare I say, even safer wherever he is than here. I sure hope so. Are we going to work today? Nah, things are too nasty right now. Let's take the Sunday off. Hey, we get an extra. Oh, all right. Say, do you want to help? Do you want me to help you get to your apartment? Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Okay, then let me lock things up and we'll go. We'll grab something for lunch on the way. Sounds good. 
some alone time with boss and here we are yeah home sweet home thanks a lot hey boss want to hang out for a bit hmm yeah grab a beer chill out for a bit mostly to thank you for helping me well i don't have much to do anyway so yeah sure yeah is this is this where we have to explain the custom boss wall scroll we have I sure. did tell you you should invite me to your apartment sometime, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you did. What worries me a bit is that beer always leads to something else. To more beer? I was going to say to one of us going through the Spanish announcer's table. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and I get this reference now. <laughs> do do tell. I, I didn't always understand that this is about a wrestlers going through the Spanish announcers table because it's <laughs> always the Spanish commentators. It's never any other uh, language. Interesting. Okay. It's it's never it's never going to be the English uh, table. Absolutely not. It's just how they do things. But I think we're safe here. Come on in then. Excuse me. What one? Sorry, I don't smoke. Don't mind me, though. Smoke if you wanna. Yeah. Is, it, is this the first time uh, we're seeing this interface in this playthrough? I believe so, yeah. Okay. This is new. Yeah. There's some nice one-on-one -on -one, uh, interactions like this where it really gets down to the cyberpunk bartending action. Thanks. chilly weather treating you it gets cold from time to time but nothing the kotatsu and the heater can't fix all right boss you're not very good with the cold are you you know it so i should spend all our time in mexico and panama you didn't bring your jacket here either yeah i left it at home when going to the bar yesterday it wasn't that cold, and I didn't expect to spend the night at the bar. Would you like a sweater or something? Oh, don't mind me. I insist. Have this. I have this hoodie from some time ago, and I, it was too big for me. Why buy it then? It was dirt cheap. Right. Wait, where did you get this one? Don't know. Some flea market ages ago? Why? Nothing. It's just like one I had many years ago. I didn't steal it. What What happened to it? Too much use. It just ripped. I see. You can keep it if you want. I never use it anyway. Um, we'll see. Hmm. Come to think of it. How old are you, boss? I'm eternally 17. Ah, 17 second season. Mm-hmm. I know how that goes. She's an immortal anime character. Fair, Fair enough. enough. Oh, it's right. Fair enough. 17 plus how much? 17 plus I'd have to cut your tongue if you knew. All right. Let me go change into something more comfortable. Take your time. Not in brackets, not sexually. <laughs> ellipses. Four ellipses. Ellipses. Mm. Say, Jill, there's a blue eyed mass of black fire glaring in my general direction. Hmm. Oh, that's just four. He's just wary of new visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. He'll warm up quickly, though. Just give him time. Got more uh, sprites for four. Mm. He's unusual looking. Blue eyes on a black cat. They usually have green. Yeah, weird, huh? At first I thought they were like that because he was small, but they never changed. Do you have any pets, boss? Back at home, we had a bear. Excuse me? I, I, I see. What? 
Good old Bosco. He kept intruders away better than any dog. That is a good name for a bear. A That's pet a bear. great name for a bear. Right. right. <laughs> hmm? This picture here isn't something you see every day. Yeah, it's Jill looking goofy. I know. And blushy. What? Me taking such a sappy pic? No, a framed picture on printed paper. It's so... Vintage. Who are these? That's, um... The one on the right is Lenore, my ex-girlfriend. The one on the left is Gabrielle, her sister. Huh. Is this pic recent, or...? Actually, that one's from three or four years ago. Ellipses. You look exactly the same. I'm only 27. What do you expect? That's why they say that kids are the ones that get old. It, I thought it was recent because you don't usually see people display pictures of their exes so openly. Let alone a printed and framed one. Did you two break up on good terms then? You even hesitated a bit when you when calling her your ex. Uh, let's just say that everything ended with us both saying mean things. And me storming out of her house, breaking a couple things on the way. We never broke up formally, and I guess I still have feelings for her. I just went away. Haven't said a word since. Really? It's hard to picture you doing such a thing. And you look so happy in the pic. Why have her pick out like this, then? I just couldn't get get my mind off something Alma said to me. About missing having the warmth of someone else pressed against your side. Using them as a pillow. Mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head in their chest. Listening to their breathing as they pet your head. Dozing off knowing that they're there. Watching you. Protecting you. I don't know. I felt nostalgic than miserable. Mm -hmm. I'll just put this away. Mm. Ellipses. I've been meaning to apologize, but I feel like it's too late now. Whenever I go out, there's this fear in the back of my head that I'll meet her in the street. And I just don't know if I could face her again, let alone talk to her. I'd be a mess. It's never too late to apologize, Jill. Maybe. Hmm? What's that on the table? I think I think that's the uh, parcel we got at the beginning of the game. Hmm. If you all remember that. Surprise ellipses. Looks like an envy. It's nothing. Nothing. Now, please, give that to me. Lope. Um, all right. <laughs> I saw nothing, don't worry. No sad play, cool. Oopsies. Anyway, let's grab some beers. Guide me. Damn, you have lots of beer. Hmm. Shine Spark out uh, 1511. Mm. Kira Mickey. There you go. Beer so far, cans left, remaining beer. Uh. I'm trying to think if it will uh, alert me to what the minigame here is. Well, BTC gives me discounts and a point card. I can use it every time I buy their alcohol. With that, beer is actually the cheapest drink I can get. Is there any difference between the drinks at the bar and these? The drinks at the bar are more addictive, flavorful, and stronger than the ones they sell in stores. And besides, the one in the bar is more of a double IPA. This one is more of a Pilsner. In English, please. This one's lighter in color and lighter in flavor. And it tastes like piss. <laughs> Dunno, it doesn't taste like a lighter to me. <laughs> is this one made with that 
Uh, what was the name of the base liquid you used at the bar again? Neutrogenic di dichometrical lindo lindogenol, or NDL. Okay, so everything that all the chemicals that we're mixing is going into this, like, solvent. Hmm. It was a supplement or something, right? It was an experimental fluid they created to replace water when Maiden Kiss polluted the water supplies. That that was a lot of info just now. Yep. The effects of pollution turned out to be temporary, so NDL was never went into mass production. But the BTC still commissioned it for use in bars. And this one and this one made with it? And is this one made with it? Let's see. Yep, here it is, near the end. NDL and cornstarch. Because of course. And that's how you know it's made in America. Cornstarch? Corn Serve as a, it serves as a stabilizer, if I remember correctly. They need it for packaged drinks. I see. And you just realized, and I just realized something. Alright. I realized I haven't been drinking, so I'm just gonna... Yep. What's that? What? Oh, yeah. nope. You're a nerd, Jill. Guilty as charged. I still have that bottle of rum around. Do you want some of it? Will you have some too? Not really, no. Then leave it like that. I'm not letting you drink beer alone. That's not how drinking with friends works. Do you consider me a friend then, boss? Why wouldn't I? Don't know. What with being my boss and all, I was never too sure. Well, in case you had any doubts, yes, I consider you one of my best friends. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I, I just need to uh, get us up to speed because we hadn't been drinking a whole lot yet. Mm. My, my plan is to drink all ten cans of this. Oh, boy. Besides, you and Gil are always so diligent responsible that I'm boss in name only anyways. That's good to know. On a side note, it surprises me you kept that poster of me in the room. Drink. <laughs> and even more that you hung it in plain sight. When I gave it to you, it was more or less a joke, you know? Does it make you uncomfortable? If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, why would it make me uncomfortable? It's my own face. I'm still wondering why you did it, though. You know, Spider-Man with the Employee of the Month uh, picture behind him. Yep. Aside from filling an empty spot in the wall, I don't really know. I thought it was funny, too. I guess it's like if someone gave you... Don't know. A dildo-shaped trophy or something that you had or something, and you had it there as a conversation starter. Although this one... Although no one comes here anyways, so it's kind of pointless. What? No steamy nights of fashion? Not since a year ago, I think. And I'd rather not talk about what happened then. Uh, did someone hurt you? Because if they did, I can go dish out the pain! No, nothing of the sort. A different kind of mess uncomfortable mess a not being able to have sex for reasons mess glad to know you have my back though that's what friends are for wait you talk about the poster and compare it to having a dildo shaped trophy did you just call me dildo face <laughs> that's what friends are for ellipses Hey, Jill, where did you get that black four ball? Well, as with any black cat or house cat in general, he's actually a stray. I found him in the alleys near the building. Not long after I moved in here, I think. Ah, I see. It was quite the sight, though. He was cornered by all these dogs, but uh, they were keeping their distance. He was holding his ground, hissing and scratching as much as he could. There was a fried chicken bucket nearby that had some rainwater in it, so I threw the water over the dogs. 
they ran and I figured the cat's mom was near would be nearby so I left then I noticed people uh, looking in my direction as I walked turns out the little shit started following me so you brought it home at first I wanted to see if it, I could find him a new home but Having him welcome me whenever I came back was just too much for my heart, so he ended up staying. It was destiny, girl. You you uh foster cat sometimes? Is this a similar uh experience? Is this a we, re relatable? Uh the ones I've done have been through an agency. Um I don't oh. think they've taken any stray specifically, although I given that the gimmick of it is that it is a rescue focused on black cats because superstitions about black cats remain pretty widespread. Uh, which, they are often... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is some bullshit. Like, yeah, I know. It's, it's wild, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the one so cat I, I've had is, was a black cat with like a little white tuft around the neck. Was older yeah, than I was. Yeah, most, most, of, most of the cats that I would consider like mine in some capacity have either been like black cats or like black and white cats. We did uh, have... I think... I think they're great. Yeah. We, um, did, we did have a Narcat actually just like wander onto our property and and hung out for a couple weeks. Aw. When he came, he was so cute, though. Not like the fat mass that's sleeping on the table. I don't know what Jill's talking about. Cats get much cuter the fatter they get. Hey, you're not you're not a spring chicken yourself, you know. Ellipses. Ellipses. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! I actually did that in front of someone else. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, anyway, don't anyway me. Do you normally speak for your cat like this? Maybe. Uh, I wonder if Gil's all right. You worried about him? You make it sound like I'm some emotionless robot. You can be hard to read. I wouldn't worry about Gil so much, though. There's three things I know for certain about him. First, he can take care of himself. Second, you can sincerely trust him. And third? He absolutely hates bell peppers. That seems like a common vegetable to hate. I can think of a couple like uh, anime characters. He does? I've seen him even reject food that has been in contact with it. Man, what a baby. Unless he's allergic or something. He's not. All, all I can think of is Jet. I can't help but notice that there's not a lot of beef in this beef and bell peppers. That is... One of the ones I'm thinking of. <laughs> Chef's specialty, bell peppers and beef. Uh, How did you meet such a such a guy? I almost said nice guy. <laughs> he shut up in the door of the bar. He, what? Well, it was shortly after the whole incident with Robert and the levitation potion. Right. Levitation po potion, air quotes. Yeah. It was a slow day, and he just showed up at the bar. I offered him a drink, but he said he didn't have any money on him. I couldn't leave him alone, so I pretty much gave the drinks for free. And after a couple, he broke down crying. He... Huh... I don't know what he did, but he was really, really regretting it. He wanted a second chance or whatever, and I told him if he could wash himself, I'd find him a job. And I'll be damned, he looked totally different the next day. Damn. I tried and failed to find out anything about him. So I decided to take him at face value. I'd judge him for what he did as an employee. Hmm. And aside from the occasional sudden escapade, he's been as loyal as loyal gets. 
I return the favor in kind, covering his ass from time to time. Sometimes literally. You need that sometimes. What surprises me is that you took him in so easily. I can take care of myself, and I always keep an eye on him. And besides, after the whole Robert thing, I couldn't ignore someone that desperate so easily. I see. You've made the bar more lively yourself, you know? How so? Well, with the regulars, you're, you've earned, of course. Alright. I, I just noticed that we flipped over... We're past the halfway point now, and Jill, oh, no. <laughs> and Jill has uh, gotten a bit red in the face. Oh no! Shut up, Jill! You've got half the ki you've got another five beers to go. Like that blonde titty hacker. I can't remember her name. See, it's it wasn't on me calling Alma titty hacker. The game did it first. <laughs> Alma. I was gonna say Armitage. The third. Yeah, exactly. Well, she's hot. I'll give her that much. She's also a nice person in general, but damn, she's hot. Jill, you're drunk. Are you alright, Jill? Yeah, why? <laughs> Drinking. It's weird to see you say so openly that someone's hot. What? Even you can see she has a hot body, boss. You'll find no objection. You'll find no objections here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about taking her to a room and. Mm-hmm. 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 Jill, you sure you aren't drunk? I am. I mean, I'm sure I'm not. I mean. Ahem. But those are thoughts I leave to myself. I don't think I could handle her in a relationship. She has weird standards. That is, and she's as straight as straight gets. Oh no. It's oh, that, no. It's that one uh, manga panel that we saw going over Twitter where it's, as I thought, I'm heterosexual. <laughs> the, the one straight in the world of gay. She's still a lo lovely person, though. That and that she became a regular is a blessing. Any regular is a blessing when you get down to it. There's also the sex worker robot girl. Ah, Dorothy. And her little dog, too. She intrigues me, though. I've seen lots of sex workers over the years, and she seems pretty giddy. It's not that she likes her job, but rather she takes it with such childish excitement. That, that is a weird, uh... Weird dichotomy, is it not? You have that childlike glee for this subject matter. I've noticed that too, but then again, Willem can be weird. You think? Willem operate in some really foreign logic. I mean, they don't really share our fear of mortality. Even their bodies are... Even if their bodies are destroyed, their minds are already backed up in the collective source. If they lose an arm, they can reattach it or replace it. Depending on the circumstances, they might not even feel pain at all. It's not like they haven't retained human-like emotions like fear or love, but they are... different. Like a different culture, if you must. See it that way. Mm. Aside from that, Dorothy is a uh, DFC 72. That's a social interactions model or something. Let them get positive reinforcement straight from their bodies if they're fulfilling their main purpose. So I'm guessing she gets a built in push whenever she's in a meaningful or challenging social interaction. Interesting. Hmm. The name Lilim is a bit weird, though. It is? You'd expect them to be called bots or dolls, but Lilim doesn't convey the image of automatons. 
You're forgetting this game is written by weebs. <laughs> Just a tip. Bots and dolls are considered slurs by them. Bot is akin to calling them uh, the R slur. <laughs> okay. The game was serious. Okay. And, <laughs> and doll is like calling them a fake. Thanks for the advice. That aside, do you know why they're called Lilim? As far as I know, it's because they all come from a bigger AI, AI called Lilith. And Lilim are Lilith's offspring in Jewish folklore. Oh, cool. Idiot Yano thought the same. Hey, speaking of names, why don't you like being called by your full name? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't act stupid. Back when you first transferred, I called you Julian, and you almost tore me a new one with your glare. Mm -hmm. Julianne. See, you mm. like that. It's no big secret, but it's one of those things that feels silly when you say it out loud. Try me. Well, did you ever watch Model Warrior Julian? Not all of it. My little sister's a big fan of the reruns. Hmm. Back when I was in elementary school, I was a huge fan of the show. I had everything from the dolls to the costumes to the lunchboxes. It didn't help that it was one of the shows that got strapped literally everywhere. I saw a couple of episodes once. They were really nice. It was beyond nice. The show's about a model who can transform into an armor-clad magic knight. She fights demons born from greed and vanity. How the show presented Jules hating her job because it invited enemies, and yet she still found solace in trying to be a role model. Hell, the main character wasn't a kid. Julian was an adult that became younger when transformed. I'd say it was pretty ambitious for a kid's show even by today's standards. Just the fact that she, that her enemies were literally issues dealing with uh, body standards and the beauty standards of body image. Challenging as fuck. Whoa, you got excited there. And that's the problem. Back then, I was obsessed with Jules. I sang the songs, dressed like, dressed like her. I could even recite the full chapters. Something tells me you still can. That's besides the point. It was nice when I was in elementary school, but then I went to middle school. And what a surprise, twin, tweens are jackasses. They went out of their way to tease me about the things I did back then. I don't hold it against Jules. I always ho hold my grudge against those fuck jobs. Sounds rough. You know how most girls worry, worry about their thighs at that age? I worried about jerk asses singing the theme tune to the song to the show mocking me. Anyways, every time someone calls me Jules or Julianne, I instinctively react negatively. Pavlov would be proud of me. I never talk about it because I find the whole thing too silly in respect. And yet, it affects you even today. There's nothing wrong with it, though. It's actually kind of reasonable. I sure hope so. Come to think of it, what kind of kid were you, boss? When I was a toddler, I was the kind to always fight with kids bigger than me. Then puberty happened, and I became the Merriam-Webster definition of shallow jerkwad. It's true. Her photo's right in there. Around the time I turned 16, I realized what an idiot I was and went on to become who I am today. And the less I talk about those years from 12 to 15, the better. The, those are the Chuni years. Yep. Those are the Chuni years. Fair enough. Say, boss, 
How do you like the men? <laughs> 2D. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> mm. 2D? Yeah, I don't mind anything as long as that thing is cute or 2D. How about you? Um... Back in high school, I liked them funny. In college, I liked them successful. After a while, I just wanted them stable. And now... And now? I... Don't know. I stopped caring about them being funny. My high school boyfriend started conflating cheering me up with mocking me when I'm down. I also stopped caring about them being successful. I realized half the time they had no qualms about cheating with me or on me. And I stopped caring about them being stable. I realized that they were the kind of person I was trying not to become. Not become stable? There was this guy who became so obsessed with holding a stable job that he, that he hated. He started being physically ill. Not only that, the last time I managed to get some, I ended up throwing the guy out. He took incredible offense with how I smoked on the bed after sex. The bed could catch fire, you know? Not you two. I kind of envy Alma for that. At least when she dumps, she, uh, dumps a guy, it's for less petty reasons. <sighs> Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just... It all boils down to the fact that I can't get my mind off Lenore lately. She was... She was all of what I just said. She made me laugh. She had a good position and was stable. She was also smart, caring, and... Why can't I get my mind off the whole thing? It's... It's maddening. Ellipses. Maybe I should just go and apologize. Maybe I should. Maybe that will make me rest easier at night, get my mind off things for a while. I don't even care about going back to her, but... But... Ah! Hey, Jill. Have you tried thinking about clothes for four? Clothes for... <laughs> Out of beer. <laughs> Out of beer. Listen, I know how you must feel. But you can't let all of that cloud your senses. Next time you feel overwhelmed by those thoughts, try distracting yourself. Like with, say, thinking about what kind of clothes you can put on for. Yeah... You know, boss, I'm a bit curious about your circle of friends. What kind of people do you have in it? Keep in mind, you're included in that circle, too, so any insults you hurl will apply right back to you. Anyways, I have this friend I've known for a long time. Red-headed, glasses-wearing gun nut called Iris. The one you called for the helmet thing? That one. She's managing a BTC bar in Panama right now, if I remember correctly. Which I think is the sequel hook for Nirvana. I, oh. I, I'm pretty sure that's where it takes place. So this is our right. hint at that. She's managing a bar too, too? I got the idea from her, actually. Oh. Okay, yeah. Confirmed. <laughs> It's called N1-RV A, and if you thought this city was dangerous, you should see the people she has to deal with there. Piracy ain't nothing to fuck with. And I mean it's an annex to another business? What, else, what else does she do there? I think the bar was originally her hotel's bar. She moved the bar to its own building somewhere and opened N1-RV and B in the hotel instead. Nirvana B. Nirvana Nirvana B. Nirvana. Nirvana. 
Weird decision. I believe she said she wanted a place, quote, away from the noisy, rich tourists that go to the hotel, unquote. Hmm. So that bar is her woman cave. Woman cave. That aside, let's see. Friends, friends. I guess there's also my little sister, but that's a given. Oh, there's also my old partner from when I was with the Neo San Francisco Police Force. Good old Lexi. Should give her a call sometime. Wait, you were in the what? <laughs> I've done lots of things, Jill. Lots of things. I've spent a short time collaborating with the police force. I've been a wrestler, an MMA fighter, chimney cleaner, lumberjack, pet shop attendant, corporate mascot. Corporate mascot for a company called Sukabon Games. <laughs> I still see my face on some websites from time to time. Anyways, aside from you, Gil, my sis, Iris, and Lexi, hmm, I guess there's also a lot of people that don't want to see me in harm's way. Mostly because they're the ones that want to hurt me. Okay. What about you? I guess I have acquaintances here and there. Back at home and college, I went out a lot. But it felt more like going out with was the pleasure rather than the people involved. Aside from you and Gil, my closest friend since moving here is Alma. Oh, and Dorothy. I mean, sure, there's always four, but that cat's a hermit that refuses to go out. And you know, he's a cat. Hey, a cat's fine too, you know? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that takes me back. I wasn't going to mention it, but yeah, that, that, that's quite <laughs> uh, the joke. Uh, I just had a high school flashback. Ugh. Mm. Oh, the internet. Terrible, awful place. The worst. Boss. Huge mistake. Boss. A hey, boss. Hmm? This is Jill 12 cans of beer in. <laughs> oh, boy. How did you lose your V-card? <laughs> v, huh? <laughs> you know, your V-card, your first time, you're deflowering. Oh, that! Well, I'm legally bound to not disclose that information. <laughs> she is an immortal anime girl. Yep. Does that mean you lost it? Can't disclose that information. Come on, just give me a hint, or... Jill, bad things will happen for everyone if that info is revealed in any way. <laughs> alright, alright, sheesh. Which is now a TikTok phrase. <laughs> is it now? Oh dear. It, somehow just saying the word sheesh in a, in a cadence I can't quite replicate. Oh boy. Uh, did... The game closed. Oh no! I, I oh I didn't hit anything. Oh dear! It just it just exited out by itself. Yeah. Uh, hmm. That has happened before on me, but uh, been rare that it happens. Let's see how uh, quickly we can get back. Sounds good. Because we're on day six break? Yes. All right. Well, no. All right. Luckily, we can just do this. Get used to the sound of a uh, gulping noise. So. That's fine. It's not actually letting me advance and open at the same time. Oh boy. Let, let's uh, speed run this, yeah? Alright. Maybe. Have you seen him? Oh, uh, should you be seeing the game again? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, it crashed, so now I need to show it to you again. I bet you love tech that. Yeah. Technology. Uh, now we'll go back to windowed for a bit. Ah. Uh, and just Valhalla. 
Maybe I'll mute the game for a bit just while I uh, work on that. Fair. All right, I see the see the little red background. See your face in the middle. Is it not? Uh... Uh, not not seeing the game game yet. No. Stops sharing to you. Let's try that again. That's fine. You should be getting it now. Mm. Still no? No, not yet. Okay. In my preview, it's uh, showing up. Hmm. Huh. Uh, I have to manage a couple things here. Well, let's uh, stop streaming then and go for share screen. See you. How about now? Nope. All right. Uh, I'm going to drop the call briefly and then uh, rejoin. Sounds good. Because I think that might be it. I'm seeing it on the preview. All right. We'll get uh, Amon in here back shortly. Start voice call. If not, I have other ideas as well. All right. Share screen. Well, hollow. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Not nothing changed on my end, so it must have just been uh, need need to reset. Yeah. This takes a long time to drink, actually. <laughs> but we'll uh, keep going out. Yeah, I, this is one of those scenes I really like uh, in the game. Oh, this is this is good. I like this. Where it's just chilling with uh, a friend, ma making the best of a bad situation. Yep. Getting kind of relatable, kind of real. Yep. I have to figure out how to get back. Yeah, we'll leave it on that quote for a bit. Right. Uh, how far did we... Right. Uh, we, we got, got to we the got, V card bit. All right, we got to the V card bit, and I think that is. I think yeah, that's close enough. It's about yeah, it's about where it. I, mean, I think we got a little beyond that, but that's about where it crashed. Right. I don't think we're going to unlock any new dialogue going about this one. But, but yeah, this is a neat uh, mini game as well, and. It's the only time uh, this game does it, or it does this. It's a shame, this is nice. Mm. They have other like nice scenes, but this is the like this is a slow like move on. Hey, you can have a drink. You can not have a drink. You can uh, manage your alcohol intake. I, I think the first time through, I was worried that I would just you know pass out drunk. Uh, that's about Gil, Armitage. Uh, Dorothy, Lulam. Things about slurs. That kind of blindsided me. But, uh, <laughs> Unexpected. Yeah. Mm. There's, you know, there, there's a riot going on in the street. There's a lot happening right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do like your men. Yeah, and her talking about her ex-girlfriend, that's... We're getting vulnerable. That's for... 
There we go. Getting close now. The bar and all that. Good old Lexi. Nirvambi. There we go. The cat's fine too. Yep. Hey, boss. Hmm? How'd you lose your V card? V, huh? You know, your V card. Your first time. You're deflowering. Oh, that. Well. I'm legally bound to not disclose that information. Yeah, never take it all this time. Does that mean you lost it? Can't disclose that information. Come on, just give me a hint or... Jill, bad things will happen for everyone if that info is revealed in any way. All right, all right. Sheesh. Oh, it's because I invoked TikTok. That's why the game <laughs> crashed. That'll do it. I can only say this. The whole thing is related to my mechanical arm. Son of a bitch. Great, now you're just teasing me. Any reason you want to know that? Well, everyone's first time is always a mess, but I've always... But I've always to know, always wanted to know if it was as messy a time as mine. What happened? You should report that bug. There's a typo in the script. Mm. Well, I got all lovey-dovey with my first boyfriend, and when we both got naked, I... Hmm? <laughs> when I saw his... When I saw his dick, I just started <laughs> I started laughing. What? Got nervous? Ner nervous? No, I just find dicks funny. You, uh... They're funny. They're... <laughs> they have a little sack attached to them, and... <laughs> and they grow, and... They're just... <laughs> they're just stupid meat rods. Ellipses. So how did your boyfriend react? He went flaccid from the laughter and <laughs> it just shrunk and went limp. I had to work it out for a bit but so I could control my laughs. I had to yeah, work it out for a bit so I could control my laughter, but it's so hard. They're just so stupid. <laughs> uh. Ah, <laughs> stupid meat rods. Jill? Huh. Ellipses. Well, let's see how let's see how to move her back inside before she gets the cult. Ah, no, Denima. I think we might actually, um, if we're getting an animation, this might be a, the chapter break. Oh, fancy. Might have to, yeah, there it goes. Chapter two, Armaga. So, chapter one was a word for first. I, let me check my Steam achievements, actually. Because uh, it will tell you all these things. Right. I'm not getting Steve achievements anymore because I've been through it and I can't reset Steam achievements. Yeah. This chapter names means bitter. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, your electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Please make sure to have uh, you have the eight thousand dollars needed. Jill is, Jill is curious about a d drama she saw. Getting it will prevent her from getting distracted. Have a nice day. Oh, boss of the hoodie, anyways. Let's uh, alt unlock. There, life and backup. Get our save in. Yeah, well. Oh. Uh, this is usually when we call it, but uh, did we want to go a bit longer tonight? For starting late. Let's see. I mean, if we're, if we're already here, I feel like this is a good starting place for next week. Right this at the is true. Of the chapter. 
This is true. I'm fine. I'm fine calling it if you are. Yeah, I, I think we had a good, good go at it. Yeah. So let's uh, call it there. Right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, we got we got to see Jill get absolutely plastered. That was funny. It, it's funny when it happens to anyone. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's good for the main character too. Indeed. All right. So let's uh think about who we want to raid. I see Kyle Phillips is live. Uh, that sounds like a good option. Uh, Andrew would like to inform us about something because I've just been tagged on Twitter. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, fan gamer is selling the vinyl soundtrack edition for uh, Valhalla, which looks very spiffy. Yeah. And uh, I haven't looked at the price, but also it's five discs, so oh, it's one hundred nine dollars, so it is fairly expensive. Yeah, reasonably expensive. I I did discover that uh, my grandpa left a uh, record player in this apartment, so oh. I I could reasonably get that going. I, I think I would. I don't think it's hooked up to any speaker or sound system. So you need you need to get a you need to get a stereo to mic it through. Yeah, I I've seen like, uh, like I don't know audio very well, but I've seen like raw copper cable like strung up I think that's that's I have some version of that mine's yeah. just a uh, I don't actually know what it is it's just like you know it's some sort of metal wiring with a big you know yeah. plastic tubing around it and you stick one end in your stereo you have the record player hooked up to and the other end into the speakers yeah I think that's the idea I I don't understand it but uh, maybe that's worth looking into hmm or maybe I'll just ask my mom about that. Uh, yeah, uh, what was I thinking? About? So, as far as Twitch plans this week, uh, I think it's... Oh. What's going on? I don't think we have a Wednesday or Thursday stream lined up. Should I don't have believe a, so. Should have a new episode of the podcast on Friday. Yep. That's pretty usual. Uh, Saturday, I think Roots, Roots has some plan in mind. Uh, mm -hmm. I think he's tried to get a group together uh, for some stuff. And I th Sounds right. And I think uh, Steph might be playing something similar on the Sunday. All right. You've seen some games just go free to play, for example. That would make mm -hmm. a good party, party fun. Indeed. So, yeah, we'll worry about that uh, over the weekend. We'll hammer out those details. Mm -hmm. And that'll be good. Uh, yeah, and then Monday I start a new game. And that will be uh, it from us, though. Thank you, thank everyone for uh, stopping by and yeah, having thank a you. watch. This was a good chill session, I think. Indeed. All right. So we'll send you over to uh, Kyle Phillips now. Good night, everybody.